Okay. So the first one that we're going to graph is not in VIN form. So in order to graph it, it's easier if it is in VIN form. VIN just means I want the variable first. I need the inequality symbol and then the number. Okay. And some of you might say, I knew that. Well, I thought you knew it too until I graded it. So make sure you pay attention. When you flip the X and the 10, you have to flip the symbol as well. Okay, so the symbol is still opening to the X where it was opening to the X up here. Okay, then again, it's going to have a number line already on your assessment. So the 10 is going to be there. Oh, and there will also be a 9 and there will be an 11. We're going to do an open circle here. And then now that I have it in VIN form, I can let my arrow follow exactly this symbol. So this symbol, some people even did this on their quiz to kind of help them out. And just wrote right over top of that, showing themselves that it's going to go that away. Okay. Okay. So keep that in mind when you get your quiz back. If you missed the level two problems, this is why. You're going to see that. Okay. The second problem over is one that we've been working on, solving a two-step equation. So to solve the two-step equation, you need to do your addition subtraction piece first. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. I'm going to bring down my negative 2x that's still there. Greater than or equal to. 20 minus 8 is 12. Okay, and this is something that we talked about last week. And last Friday, we played bingo to solidify the fact that when I divide by a negative 2, what do you have to remember to do? Flip this symbol. Right now, it is a greater than or equal to. And it will flip to a less than or equal to symbol. Okay. These negative twos will cancel out. So I have X. 12 divided by negative 2 is negative 6. Okay. Two reasons that we're talking about this next part. Reason number one is finals are coming up in January, right? Your final in January will have simple skills at the very beginning, like distributive property and combining like terms. The second reason is we are also going to be doing multi-step equations today. Okay. So step one, when you're doing a multi-step equation, is you need to distribute first. So if you don't remember how to distribute, the distributive property is going to multiply negative three times both of those things. Okay, so check your answer. Negative three times two is negative six X. Negative three times negative four is a positive 12. How'd you do? Okay. One of the skills that you will see on your final is, can you multiply a negative number and make sure that your signs are correct? Okay, so is yours correct? Then you'll be able to get that one right on the final. Last one, we are going to simplify by combining like terms. This one has an X on it. This one has an X on it. So we're going to put those two together. 7 minus 11 or 7 plus a negative 11, however you want to put it in your calculator, is negative 4x. And then we'll just bring down the plus 8. How'd you do? Pretty well, hopefully. All right. In your binders, so that goes on the front page. So open up the binder, put that one in right there. On your page 12. So on Friday, we finished up with a two-step equation. 
So now we are opening up all sorts of multi-step equations. We can distribute, we can combine like terms, and we can do variables on both sides. Okay, so today we are working just with the distributing and the combining like terms. Okay? Just so you know, a little FYI, our classwork problems are going to be on the back side, and they're going to be problems one through six. Okay? So those six problems are the ones that are going to be required by the end of the class period today. Okay. So on the front side here, I'm just going to take a minute, and we're going to talk about what should I do first. Okay? So regardless of what problem we're doing on this page, you should go in this order. So step one, you should look to distribute first. Are there parentheses that you need to deal with? That's step number one. Step two is you should then look across the problem on either the left or the right to see if you can combine like terms. This is page 12. Number two, we're going to combine like terms. Okay, we will not have to do this next part today, but I'm going to put it in here because this is where it would go. Okay, step three. Are there X's on both sides? We're not dealing with that today. We will deal with that tomorrow. But if there are X's on both sides, what question do we ask? We say, which one is smaller? Now, here, more than anywhere else, is where this is more important. Because if you don't have a negative X value, you won't have to remember to flip the sign when you divide. So we are going to find the smaller x value, and we're going to add or subtract it to both sides. So this is where we ask ourselves which x, if there are x's on both sides, which one is smaller, and we get rid of that one. So this is where I ask myself the question, which one is smaller? Okay, and we're going to deal with that one. Okay, then... On the side of the X, get rid of the plus or minus number. Plus or minus hashtag. Phones away, please. This is important notes that we're taking. Put it away, just for our notes there. And then the last step is going to be divide. Most, mostly it's going to be divide. Okay, But you could multiply here as well. It's going to be divide by the number in front of x. Okay, And if that number is negative, we got to flip the sign. Last one here, divide by the number in front of x. Then I'm going to put right here, if it's negative, flip the symbol. If it's negative, flip the symbol. Okay, there's your how-to guide for the day. Okay, now I know some of you can kind of jump ahead a little bit, so you can kind of go at your own pace a little bit, but if you're jumping ahead, make sure you look back and make sure your answer matches with what I got. 
Okay. So when I get to the bottom of a problem, just make sure you check up and got, that you got the same answer. That I have. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So I'm going to ask myself kind of through this process, one through five here, where am I at? <clears throat> Which one do I need to do when I do each step of letter A here? So is there parentheses? Do I need to distribute? No. So then I go to the next thing. The next thing says combine like terms. The like terms are the two terms that have the same letter. Okay. Now I'm just going to take a time out right there. Do not look up here. Do not write plus 5x underneath. That is not what we're doing. When we combine, we are just putting these together in our calculator. Okay, so we're taking 7 minus 5. We're not doing the opposite. We're just combining them. What is 7 minus 5? 2x. Plus 6. We're just bringing that one down. That one just finds its way down into the problem. Finish it up with less than 10. Do I have X's on both sides? No. So because I don't have X's on both sides, I skip over that step and I go to the next one. So the next one says on the side of the X, that's this one, on the side of the X, get rid of the plus or minus number. So it says plus 6. So I'm going to get rid of the plus 6. By doing the opposite, here's where you start doing the opposite. <clears throat> so 2x, 6 is cancel out, 10 minus 6 is 4. The last step is to divide both sides by the number in front of x. So I'm dividing by 2. If that number is negative, I flip. It's not, so I don't have to worry about doing that. Divide by 2. So I am not changing this symbol. Don't change the symbol. x less than 2. Okay, and I'm done. Okay. Jump over to the next one. So <clears throat> letter B, again, I'm going to follow through my process here. So the first thing I look for is, do I distribute? Is there parentheses? So here I currently have parentheses. So I am going to multiply that through. So I'm going to multiply by negative 2. Multiply by negative 2. Okay, some of you like to do that. Some of you like to do the little arrows. So x times negative 2 is negative 2x. And here's the part where you're going to need to know on your final. Okay, negative 3 times negative 2 is a positive 6. less than 18. Okay, second step, combine like terms. Are there more than one x over here? Is there more than one x over here? No. Is there more than one number by itself over here? No. So there's nothing I can combine. So then I go down to the next one. Are there x's on both sides? No. Down to the next one. On the side of the x, that's this side over here, get rid of the plus minus number. So I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. So minus 6, minus 6. So negative 2x is less than 12.
Okay, if you are already done this with this problem, I'm going to divide by negative 2 here. Because that's my last step. If you're already done with this problem, just check and make sure that your answer was X. Check it out. Greater than negative 6. Okay, just make sure that your answer matches up with that one. Okay, last one that we're doing together has a little bit of both. It has both parts to it. And if you were really good at solving equations, this should not be hard. But we still had some people that they're still working on their equation solving process. So that's why we, I'm taking the time to make sure that we go over these. Okay. Okay, and this is your level one right here, guys. This guy right here, this multi-step, that's a level one. You got to be able to do all that in one equation to get a one. Okay, so we're going to multiply this times 5, times 5. So we've got 5x minus 10 plus 3x. We're just going to keep re rewriting all of the rest of that stuff. Okay, so that was step one. Distribute. Step two says combine. Is there anything that I can put together? Are there more than one x? Is there more than one x on the same side? Okay, so over here on the left, I have a 5x and I have a 3x. 5 and 3 is 8x minus 10. That just comes right down to the problem. And then rewrite less than or equal to. 30. Okay. Next one down, step four says on the side of the x. So the x is over here. Get rid of the plus minus number. So instead of minus 10, we're going to do plus 10 to both sides. So 8x. less than or equal to 40, divide by 8, divide by 8, and x is less than or equal to 5. Okay, that's the process. So now on the back side of this, on page 13, we're just doing problems 1 through 6. This is also a really great time if you have a reassessment that you would like to do, this is a really great time to do that. So finish up your one through six, and then I'm going to talk to anybody who needs uh, to do some reassessments as well. But let's get through your one through six first.